guys. Hi. Welcome to Loving, Loving from, from the, the oven. oven, our first Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. discussion video. Today, we're going to be talking about Season 4, Episode 10, The Patriot. I'm Chris. I'm Melody. And will you join us on this journey? IMDb says that the summary for this episode goes as follows. Uh, separated from the team, Coulson and Mac discover a shocking secret about Mace, which leaves all of S.H.I.E.L.D. in a precarious position. Hmm. Some of our favorite moments. I loved the part where Gemma Simmons uses Ada's head in a cooler to interrogate because she's a badass. That is something only a badass would do. Uh, I also <laughs> absolutely loved when Mace came out in his Patriot costume, very heroically, filling the doorway. Like so. Uh, another great moment was when Agent Coulson whipped up his hand, which we do not see nearly enough of, no. into mm -hmm. Captain America's shield. Always a highlight. My favorite moments were all of the scenes in Radcliffe's lab between Radcliffe, Ada, and May. Um, I loved that the only way they could sedate a comatose May was by making sure she was always in a constant state of fighting. <laughs> May doesn't do calm. Because <laughs> apparently being volatile is the only way she can stay calm. I'm volatile. Um, <laughs> I also loved that... While Mac did not get to use his um, shotgun axe, he found solace in using a hatchet instead. Look, I made our in a coma too. Oh, good. <laughs> solace in a hatchet is the name of my next romantic novel. I would read that. As you should. Um, my other favorite moment is the end of the episode when we see Coulson take charge. Oh, that was and he, awesome. oh, Such a great moment. Like, I've missed seeing him in a position of power. I had to go back and rewatch it because I was like, yes, it's a great, yes. Yes! <laughs> and, like, I feel like this is what they should have done all season. Like, right? Mace didn't know what he was doing. No, I mean, I, I understand the purpose of keeping him around as, like, for appearances. You know, like Coulson said, he's really good about the political stuff, which is something he's not really into. But in terms of all the major decisions about, like, tactics and all of that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can be the face without being the brains. Exactly. And that's what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. But who wins the award for um, really expanding their character arc? Simmons, when she stood up to Talbot about being the highest ranking oh, it was, agent it was in cool. the room, it was awesome. And she totally whooped his ass. Oh my god, it was so funny. We were used to him coming in and intimidating, and mm -hmm. Coulson will put him in his place sometimes, but yeah. Simmons like floored him. It's just really great seeing her come into her own as an agent, mm -hmm. and um, just really stepping beyond the lab, well, like and she, seeing her and doing field work, like... Yeah. It's, it's great. And sh shout out to her using her time as Hydra as a, like a, a weapon. Yes. Like, oh, you're from Hydra? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Our biggest surprise was when Director Mace revealed that he's not an inhuman. He's been using the Erskine serum from Captain America to make it look like he's an inhuman. And he had it, everybody fooled. At Mace. We've got some predictions for you. My prediction is that May will realize that she's a robot. We saw that little moment where she, mm -hmm. she checked herself out. And I think she's going to realize she's a robot and keep it a secret. She's not going to tell anybody because, like, who would May trust? Who would May trust? And exactly, that's the real May is very secretive. And, and I mean, like, it just makes we've sense. seen this relationship build up with, with Coulson, but mm -hmm. I don't know. If I found out I was a robot, I don't know who the first person I would tell is, especially if it could have been any of you who turned me into a robot. Exactly. Um, my prediction, one of my predictions, I think Daisy will climb the ranks in S.H.I.E.L.D. when, if... 
and when Mace's Secret gets out. Possibly become director because she is director in the comics. Right, and in this episode they even talked about how they had wanted her to be the face mm -hmm. of the of the organization instead of Mace. Exactly, and they, they like Coulson was saying, it would be great for the Inhumans to see an Inhuman in charge, mm -hmm. and she actually is one. And I think the Inhumans would not take it well if they found out that Mace isn't one. Exactly. Uh, my other prediction is that this Ada secret, this head in the locker business, will drive a wedge between Fitz and Simmons because for a Whedon couple, they've been together a little too long. They're too happy. They're just too happy. Oh, we've had we've had a couple moments where I'm like, oh, we're gonna go the Whedon route. Yeah. They're they're gonna ax them. Someone's gonna die. But yeah, they're just they're too they've damn just happy. been too happy, and I don't trust it. <laughs> um, my last prediction. I think Robot May will break our little Coulson's heart. Oh. They I mean, really have had some mo bonding moments. They've had some great bonding moments, but I have to remind myself that that's not actually May. I might have to remind Coulson. Our last section is a discussion question for you guys. And this week's question? Will we see Ghost Rider again? All right, guys. Thanks for joining us at Love It in the Oven, and we uh, will see you next week. See you next time.